Nexus Lab Pro 3 2, released in July 2024, has great new features and capabilities for the platform level, as well as for its insights, orchestrator, and controller services. In this video, I will give you my top five new features for both the platform and insight service. Let's start with the platform ones. Sites are now called fabrics. Since there may be multiple NXOS or ACA fabrics at a given site or physical location, it is probably a better name to use anyway. This small but important change applies to all Nexus dashboard services. Second, scalability and support. With 3.2, Nexus dashboard can simultaneously onboard and centralize insights for both ACI and NXOS fabrics on the same cluster which could be useful for those with ACI multi-pod or multi-fabric setups integrating IPN and ISN switch management. In addition, OneNote physical Nexus dashboard deployments now support onboarding remote Nexus dashboard fabric controller fabrics, or NDFC, to visualize them directly on Insights. As covered in the previous video, ACI fabric support in OneNote deployments was already introduced in 3.1. Onboarding fabrics with standalone NXOS switches is still not supported in one physical node deployments, but that should change in the upcoming release. In terms of the scale, three physical node deployments now support up to 400 ACI or NXOS switches in 3.2, increasing the scale up to 4x when comparing it to the previous version. The same is true for six physical node deployments, where up to 1,000 ACI switches or up to 750 NXOS switches are now supported, representing up to a 33% increase over the previous version. If we now move to the virtual Nexus dashboard deployment side, six virtual Nexus dashboard clusters went from supporting up to 50 switches in version 3.1 to 200 switches in version 3.2, representing a 4x scale improvement. For more information about this and other scalability improvements, please visit the Nexus Dashboard Capacity Planning tool by scanning the QR code on screen. Third, plug and play streaming telemetry. In versions 3.1 and before, you were required to configure a dedicated in-band network to stream hardware and software telemetry from the switches to the Nexus Dashboard nodes on their data interfaces. This would translate into configuring VR apps and loopbacks in NXOS switches or in-band EPTs, contracts, and L3 outs in ACI to send such telemetry over the front panel facing ports on each switch, taking additional time and effort. Now, you can also use the management ports on any standalone or NDFC managed NXOS switch to send telemetry to the Nexus dashboard cluster data network ports. As long as you have reachability between these two, telemetry will be immediately streamed. This should make telemetry streaming plug and play, since most, if not all networks, already have an out-of-band management network cabled and configured on each switch. Plug and play telemetry will also become available for ACI in a subsequent release. Fourth, in-product user feedback. By clicking on the new Give Feedback button, you can tell us how we're doing and even provide us with suggestions or features you'd like to see. We take feedback very seriously, so who knows, maybe next time your suggested feature will be part of the product. And fifth, new topology. A new topology component has been introduced for all services, including insights and controller. We moved away from the circular topology into a new network friendly one. You can click to see neighbor links, double click to drill down, or view additional details if needed. More functionalities will come in topology in the next releases, so stay tuned. Let's now move to my top five for the Nexus dashboard insight service. First, traffic analytics for ACI. As you may remember, traffic analytics was released in Nexus dashboard 3.1 for NXOS, allowing you to quickly detect latency, congestion, and drops in your networks and identifying services running on it based on well-known L4 ports. ACI support has now been added with version 3.2. Just go to Admin, System Settings, Flow Collection, and enable Traffic Analytics in your cluster. 
Keep in mind, this requires ACI fabrics to run version 611 and later, as well as PTP or Precision Time Protocol, which was already a requirement for traditional flow telemetry. For more information on traffic analytics, please see the What's New in Nexus Dashboard 3 at 1 video in this YouTube channel. Second, Search and Explore. Who wouldn't want to have search functionality to identify where a specific IP, MAC, or configuration is in your network universe? With Search and Explore, you can now do it. Whether you have one or multiple ACI and NXOS fabrics, just type the first digits of an IP address, MAC address, or object name, and you will quickly get suggestions or matching results across all your fabrics, allowing you to easily detect any issues in your network. You can also run show commands across your fabrics, or go to a specific fabric and ask if an element such as switch, EPG, or endpoint can talk to another one and how. Third, connectivity analysis. There must be something better than trace routing 2024, right? Well, connectivity analysis is here to challenge it. Just type a source and destination IP and optionally an L4 port, and you will be able to quickly visualize the path. You may also select advanced data plane and consistency checks, such as ELAM, for all your switches. And this is just the beginning, as connectivity analysis will improve its functions in subsequent releases, bringing more options to include as part of the analysis. Fourth, routing tables and deltas. It would be great if we could run a show IP route for multiple switches at a time to find if a specific prefix has not been installed correctly somewhere in my fabric, right? Or even better, if we could visualize which prefixes and routes have been changed in a specific period of time for troubleshooting purposes. Well, Nexus Dashboard Insights now has routing table deltas for standalone NXOS and NDFC fabrics which allows you to find a specific prefix and quickly identify modifications or routes lost. Simply go to your fabric or switch, click on connectivity, routes, and then you'll get a list of prefixes installed in all your switches in your fabric, as well as those who have changed based on your time selection. This feature is expected to also be available for ACI in a subsequent release. And last, Anomaly Correlation How many times have you seen a VXLAN tunnel going down, then a BGP neighbor going down, an OSPF neighbor going down, an interface going down, to finally figure out that the real root cause of all those issues is a switch going down? This means I initially have five different problems and until I perform manual correlation, this is gonna be consuming most of my time until I figure out what to do to fix it. With correlation, Nexus Dashboard Insights is reducing the number of reported issues and showing you the root cause anomaly when available. When you identify a root cause anomaly, you can see other anomalies caused by it. Or, if you have a correlated anomaly, you can also visualize its root cause, allowing you to fix multiple issues at once. Nexus Dashboard will gradually increase the number of use cases covered by correlation, but this is a great first step to leverage AI on insights and minimize the time it takes to resolve a problem. If you want to learn more about these and other new features in the 3.2 release for either insights, orchestrator, controller, or platform, just choose the service of your choice, go to Journey in the Overview section, and click on What's New, where you will be able to get additional information about the latest features. As a summary, Nexus Dashboard is included as part of every licensed Nexus Switch purchase. If you're an existing or new customer, no matter if you run a standalone NXOS or ACI, you already paid for it. Therefore, you should be making the most out of its benefits. Nexus Dashboard 3.2 includes great features that will allow you to further accelerate the time it takes to provision a network through controller and orchestrator, minimizing downtime through insights and its AI analytics, and troubleshooting faster through its tools. If you don't have it running today, talk to your Cisco representative to help you further or download it directly from cisco.com.